Hello YouTube, it's Farmer Sun Prepping here. Obviously we're doing a different kind of video today. Uh, I wanted to talk about prepping for your pets and talk about muzzles. It may be important for you to keep your dog quiet for some very important reason. Uh, consider getting a muzzle for your pets. Uh, they don't hurt the dog. They just keep it, they keep him quiet. He's still going to whine a little bit, but, uh, they can't bark with these on. They can breathe just fine through their nose. You know, you know. Come over here, buddy. Come here. Where's your ball at? Here, look, look right here. You got your ball over here. Working with animals, y'all. Working with animals. Come here, buddy. Get up. Come on. Oh. Here we go. Now then, listen. Look, look. Okay, our buddy Ripper's going to help us out today. He has no idea what the hell's going on. Basically, stick the snout. Easy now. Easy, buddy. Look, we've done this a hundred times. You all be used to it by now. Basically, get that up over his nose. The strap's going to go around his head. Make sure you untwist it and everything else. And can't see it, but there we go. We got it snapped. Uh, bring it down here where you can get a better angle on it. This can help keep your dog quiet. Uh, in you know, in a in a bad time, a bad emergency. I know my camera work is crappy today, but uh. Something to consider if you're going to have your animals with you. Good idea to be able to keep them quiet. I have another one of these for my Border Collie as well. It's a smaller size, so they each have their own size. So make sure you get the right size, y'all. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this off of him. You're not being punished, buddy. You're just being a, you're just being a camera buddy today, okay? Also, y'all, it's important to make sure you have extra leashes. Uh, keep a couple of new leashes. Don't even just put them up somewhere. Keep them looking brand new. And use your old ones. Uh, so plenty of leashes, plenty of extra collars. Uh, you know, whatever type of collar it is you use. I can't use a breakaway collar on these big dogs because they'll break away and then i have no control of my animal so not good for their safety or mine uh you know small dogs if you use harnesses i'm not a harness guy uh you put a harness on him he's gonna pull you wherever he wants to go you have no control with a harness but uh hey buddy so i just wanted to uh, do a little video about this today it's a little something different and uh, make sure you're thinking about your pets and your preps. Of course, medicine, food, water, those types of things. Flea and tick preventatives, heartworm preventatives. I know it can get expensive. So, uh, But make sure you're taking care of your pets. Make sure you're thinking about ways you can keep them quiet, like a, like a uh, muzzle. Extra collars, extra dog stuff. And it helps to keep it all in one place, too. Uh, you don't want to have to go looking for stuff if, if, you know, people are outside that, you know, maybe you don't want them to notice that you're in your home, whatever. Might be a good idea to uh, keep it all in one place so you can find it easily. That's my little short video today. Thank you all for watching. This is Farmer Son Prep and Ripper, the German Shepherd Mix.